Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this I video. I have a program to explain about how the hash table works internally in Java. So this is a typical example. I am taking it based on the employee ID. We want to store the place where they actually located at. Okay. So let's say you have an employee class where basically you have employee ID. And based on the employee ID, I'm just trying to store the uh, place where the actual the employee is located at. So in this requirement, what I'm doing is I'm writing a hash table. Hash table ht is equal to new hash table of. So by default, as we seen in a previous video, the by default the initial capacity will be 11, right? So I have a class called employee. Basically, in the employee class, what I'm doing is I'm initializing int employee ID. Then I'm going to have my constructor. In the constructor, I'm defining the employee ID, whatever the ID I'm passing it, I'm going to assign to this variable in this employee ID, and then I'm going to override this hash code. So there is a hash code method, right? You guys know that. So I'm going to override this hash code. So basically, in this hash code method, I'm going to return the employee ID, what I'm storing it here. And also, I'm simply overwriting the two string method because I want to uh, return back the employee ID with just a null string, okay? Just a empty string at the back. So this is the typical example of employee class. And now I'm trying to insert the data of employee uh, records into my hash table. So if you guys see here, ht.put of new employee of 10 comma USA. So what does it mean? It is going to create a new employee uh, class object, right? Object for this class with ID. So whenever this line get execute, it is going to call new employee of 10, right? So this 10 will be passed over here and it is going to assign this variable as 10. And then based on this variable, the hash code is going to turn the value 10. As we know that hash table works, the keys are based on um, the hash code of the key, uh, keys, right? So it is going to give the value or 10 here, and then it is going to do this algorithm, right? So if you guys see here, 10 USA, okay? And then similarly, when I say new employee of 200, so 200, the hash code will be same 200, and then IND, right? So this is the value. So these are the keys, these are the values, right? So here, since I'm returning just employee ID, whatever I'm ID passing it, that is the same thing I want to return as a hash code. So the hash code, the keys will be always 10, 200, 100, 50, 300, 56. As I, saw, as I told in the previous video, since we have like hash table is created with 11 as our default size. So there will be hash table will be get created, starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, then till 10, 0 to 10. Okay. And the, these keys will be insert in the order. Let me explain this in detail. Okay. So for each key, the logic will be, so this the hash code will be 10 for this one right so the hash code of this key is 10 and 10 modeler of 11 this is the size right so this is the default size initial capacity right so 10 model of 11 will be 10 so then it is going to insert into the uh, row 10 so the value is 10 the key is equal to 10 the value equal to usa which is going to insert into 10th row similarly here the key is 200 because the hash code of the 200 will be 200 and ied is the value so 200 model 11 will be 2. So then it is going to insert into the second table. Similarly, 100 model 11 will be 1. So it is going to insert into here, which is 100 equal to CA. Second, third thing, like 50 comma Australia, right? 50 model 11 will be 6. So at the sixth row, at the sixth row, 50 is equal to Australia is getting inserted. And similarly, 300 New Zealand, right? So 300 model 11 will be 3. So under 3, this 300 is equal to New Zealand is getting inserted, right? And then I have another one, 56 comma UK. So 56 model 11 will be one. So again in the one uh, first row, it is going to insert 56 equal to UK at the right, at the right side. So the logic how it is going to insert the data is from top to bottom and right to left. If the same uh, table, if the same row has multiple elements, it is going to start from right to left. So the output will be 10 equal to USA and then 50 equal to Australia, then 300 equal to New Zealand and then 200 equal to India and then 56 equal to UK and 100 equal to CA. So this is the output. I hope you guys have understand how actually typically the hash table works internally. So this is the logic behind the storing the data based on the hash code of each key inside the hash table. I will write the same program in the Eclipse so you guys will get in and out of it. Here we are going to see how the hash table internally works. So as we know that we are not using hash table much in our regular programming nowadays because it is outdated. 
but still we have to understand how it actually works when it was implemented by Oracle team. So as always, I used to go with an agenda of to see what we are trying to achieve in this program. So basically, we are going to see that hash table is a class in Java and actually it implements map interface and also it extends dictionary class. So basically, dictionary is an uh, abstract class in Java. And also we are going to see what is underlying data structure, which is nothing but hash table. So hash table uh, is actually using underlying data structure as hash table and that is why they name it as hash table also. And also hash table actually won't allow uh, duplicate keys, but it allows the duplicate values. And also heterogeneous keys and values are allowed. And actually the instance not is based on the hash code of the keys. We are going to see uh, when we are trying to execute this program in a debug mode. And we are going to see uh, the null keys are not allowed because uh, as we say, uh, it is actually uh, inserting the uh, values or the keys based on the hash code and hash code of the null will always throw uh, errors and similarly for values. So what I did is like I have written a program here, a simple Java program to understand how it actually works. So which is nothing but a hash table, ht is equal to new hash table of and then I am trying to add uh, the elements with the keys and values. So I am using put method to add the elements inside the hash table with uh, you know key comma value. And I'm going to show you guys now how it actually internally stores the data. So what I'm doing is to run this program in a debug mode. So I'm just double click here to create a break point, breakthrough point. And then I'm going to this program, right click and then uh, debug as on the Java application. So it is going to ask us to move to the uh, change the perspective of the view. Yes, no problem. So switch it over. And now you guys can see here. So there are, there are different panels we have. So basically here is our actual program and here is the variables and the objects how it actually stores. We can see it over here and here is the console. Okay. And uh, the way how I can debug the uh, program is like here if you guys see here there are two uh, 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 tools here. So one is F5 which is step into which means like it is getting into that uh, particular line of code and the other one is step over. So which means like it is going to execute that particular piece of code. So since we have breakthrough this point over here in 22 line number, right? So when I click on one time, the step over F6, which means it is going to execute only this particular line. So let me click on once. Okay. If you guys see here, now the point is in step, uh, step line number 24, which means line number 22 got executed, which is nothing but it is just to create a hash table object, right? If you guys see here in the variable section, I can able to see a uh, object has been created with which is nothing but ht and which is nothing but the threshold is 8 and uh, 0.75 right and now what I'm trying to do is here I have done a program where I'm trying to add the key as a uh, employee object so which is nothing but so what I did is to uh, show you guys how it actually internally works so I have created another class called employee inside that employee I have an employee constructor so I have overwritten the constructor constructor of employee basically I'm having a, a integer employee id and then I'm trying to pass the employee id whatever I'm passing here and that I want to assign it to the hash code. So that is why I'm, I'm overwriting hash code method as well and also to string method. So basically in the hash code method, I'm actually returning the employee id. So what does it mean? So whenever I'm trying to insert an element into the hash table with employee object as 10, so which means the hash code of the employee object will be 10, right? So that is why I want to override this hash code method by using this employee id to override this whatever I'm passing it here. So what happens is now just a hash table has been created. Now I'm trying to uh, step over to another line, which is I want to execute line number 24. So now I'm going to line number 25. If you guys see here, the count has been increased to one and you guys can see when you open the table, you guys can see the employee object with the hash code 10 has been added into the bucket 10. So that is why I'm mentioned here. So the way how it actually choose the bucket is based on this modular operation. So 10 modular 11, right? So the initial capacity of the hash table is 11. So basically 10 modular 11 is nothing but 10. So that is why it added in the 10th bucket. Now let me go to the next line. Yeah, you guys can see here. Now I'm trying to add the object of hash code of 200. So 200 modular 11 is nothing but 2. And that is why it is highlighted in the second bucket, which is second bucket got added with a hash code has a key of 200, right? Now similarly, okay. Um, I'm trying to add the employee object with 100. So 100 has been executed or added in the bucket one. So whatever you guys see here in the yellow curve, it is got executed. That is a bucket number. So this one, which is highlighted here, right? Now, when I'm going to execute next line, it is going to highlight bucket number six. Yeah, you guys can see here, bucket six has been, in the bucket six, the object 50 has been added. Similarly, the 300 has been added in the bucket number three. That is why it is highlighted with three. And next one is 56 has been added in the bucket number one. So the 
how it is actually choosing the bucket is based on this modular division right so the modular operation will be applied on the hash key or hash code so the hash code of this particular objects will be the same as whatever i am passing here and just for our demo purpose i am just actually overwriting the hash code to return the same value whatever we are passing it so that we know what is the hash code it is actually returning back right so that is why i am saying 10 modular 11 which will be 10 like that so 200 modular 11 will be 2 so based on that we can see what is the bucket it is actually added and also when i am trying to execute the next line which is uh, just a system by outer print of what is act actually it contains if you guys can see here it actually contains 10 equal to usa 50 equal to australia 300 equal to new zealand 200 equal to india 56 equal to uk and 100 equal to california so the way how it actually organizes is based on top down approach and also right left right to left right so the way how it is actually is 10 so which is the top so actually it created like 0 to 10 right 0 to 10 right so 10th is the big, uh, topest uh, bucket right in the top so that is why we can see 10 is equal to usa so this is the key and this is the value and next to that is 50 right which is nothing but sixth bucket so that is why 50 equal to australia and then we can see third bucket that is a uh, uh, lower most which is 300 so that is why we can see 300 is equal to sorry here 300 equal to new zealand and then next one is second bucket which is 200 model 11 so that is why 200 equal to india and then we have one right so in the first bucket we have two elements got added right out of these two whatever the element has been added in the right side that will be um, come first which means in the first bucket if i can open this first bucket we can see two elements if you see the key the value yeah you can see 56 and the next element is 100 so what does it mean so 100 is there and then next element is 56 so 56 is in the rightmost so in the same first bucket so that is why 56 was uh, come first and then the leftmost is 100 100 equal to california so this is how the hash table internally works i as i told earlier so we are not actually using hash table nowadays in our programming in like java 8 or uh, further uh, upgraded versions but still it is uh, for knowledge purpose we have to understand how the hash table internally stores the data and how it was actually working in the previous versions of java and also the hash table is actually um, one of the uh, entry question they might be asking how you guys have understood internally the implementation of hash table i hope you guys have understood this concept i would strongly recommend you guys to uh, write the same program in your eclipse and see how it actually works and here is the uh, coding of this program and if you guys have any questions regarding this program please post your comments in the comment section i will be more than happy to assist thank you guys bye bye I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching I will see you in the next interesting video guys.